I want to start off by saying this, that uh, now I'm guessing for a lot of you, this is not, is probably not the first seminar or training that you have attended. And the first thing that I want to mention as we start is if you have failed to earn more money in the past, it is not your fault. There's a lot of information out there and it can be confusing. Many times that information overload keeps you from success and it is okay. So if you are concerned, if you have been concerned in the past that you just can't succeed in employment, I want to put that fear to rest and tell you that you just need the right person to explain it to you. And that is why I'm here. The society on the other side is that has perpetuated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful. Most people are better off as employees. They are more satisfied and have higher productivity or higher productivity as an employee. The big corporation, the education system, and the government wants you to think you need those fancy college degrees to be successful. I'm here to tell you they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it is not true. If you have ever thought at some point that the government and the education system wants you to fail, you're probably uh, right. They don't benefit from you succeeding. They want to keep you in debt and in need. The difference with us is that we actually care about your success and truly want to see you living the life of your dreams. And that is why we are here. I know you have that dream job, that job which gives you the highest satisfaction and utilizes your full potential. I want to show you how to make this happen during this session. As we start off this training, I am looking to serve two kinds of people. Number one, if you're a professional and you feel that the lack of a degree is the hindrance to your career progression, I am here to serve you and tell you that might not be the truth. And I'll show you how you can be able to progress in your career, even without a degree. And the second kind of person that I'm trying to assist in this seminar, is someone with or without your degree you still feel stuck in your career this training is for you so i have two goals in this session and the goal is to show you that the only way to get a six-figure salary even without that degree is by acquiring what i call the badass pro skills and the only way to acquiring these badass pro skills is through a program called the Badass Pro Program. And I will be sharing with you more about it as we continue. I would like just to give you a brief uh, introduction of who I am. So my name is Daniel Mutubu. I am the founder of Career Point Solutions. And over the last 10 years, I have been able to gather a lot of insight and experience working as a recruiter, career advisor, personal and professional development coach. And I'm going to use that those insights to be able to share with you this evening. And on top of that, I am a certified digital marketer by Google. I am belong to, I belong to several membership or different organizations. And one that I'm really, really proud of is the League of Young Professionals, known as LYP. On top of that, I am the author of uh, three books. One is called How to Use Facebook for Profit. Uh, my second book is Blueprint for Success. At the beginning of this year, I was also able to publish a book called How to Conquer the Year 2020. So if you go to YouTube, I would ask you, maybe go later, just search Daniel Mutuku and on my uh, uh, YouTube channel, like, subscribe to the channel, you will see a video with this kind of um, picture. Just watch it, it's a short video, it will, you, it will give you directions on how you can easily download this book for free, Conquer the Year 2020. And I think it is even more relevant for you to start planning this year at this particular point, as much as we are four months into, uh, into or three months, the, uh, the three quarters that are remaining, can, you can still be able to use these booklets to plan it out, knowing the things that you know right now, understanding the facts 
that you have right now. It will be very helpful. So go to YouTube, search for my name, Daniel Mutuku. Watch this video to give you instructions on how you can easily download this book for free. Just to, make, uh, to inform you that I am not really out of my mind when I'm telling you that you can really get a good job, a six-figure salary, even without a degree. This is just uh, a, a, an image of people who are successful and they were successful individuals even without a degree. First one here, we have Bob Collymore, uh, the late Bob Collymore, the his soul rest in peace. He ended up to a position of the CEO of Safaricom, the biggest and the most profitable company in East and Central Africa as a CEO without a degree. What do you think stops you then from getting to such height? Maina Kageni, a very vocal uh, media personality, he does not have a degree. I don't know if you know that. The other person is, um, there is um, Jalango, doesn't have a degree. The other person is, uh, we have, uh, sorry, just, we have Churchill still doesn't have a degree and they're still successful in what they are doing. So it is important, and I want to put it across there for everyone to understand that you don't have, need to have a degree for you to be successful. Moving on, I want to share a bit about myself and uh, how I ended up here. Way back in 2009, when I cleared my schooling, I started looking for a job. And the statistic as I know right now, for a fresh graduate, it takes about two to three years for someone to be able to secure a job. But lucky for me, it took me about nine months. And in March 20, 20, uh, 2010, I got my first job. And it is a great story on how I ended up getting this uh, job. At that particular point, I was living in Nakuru. And I was running a small bureau shop. It's called Communication Bureau or Computer Services uh, Shop. And I was just doing basic printing type setting and all that, but we didn't have internet. Right now, we are very privileged to have even internet in our homes. And I, right now, I'm able to come to you through, uh, yes, the fact that I have internet at home. But I used to go to the cyber cafe in the next uh, center where I would check my emails. And of course, I used several job boards that I would uh, subscribe to get their job a lot. I would apply to those jobs that fit uh, the criteria. And uh, sometimes, I, most of them, I actually didn't get invited to an interview. But uh, of course, I had attended several interviews even before that. I don't know if you have ever attended an interview and left the interview feel like, oh, these guys are not going to call me. I just messed it up. I had several of those. But this time, I remember it was a Tuesday, I was invited for an interview in Nairobi Consolidated Bank House, that floor. I was supposed to be there at 8 a.m. So I left Nakuru very early, I think at around 5.30 or 6. And by 8 a.m. I was seated in Consolidated Bank House, that floor, in a company which was called Regiotech, and they were running a program called Computer for Schools Program. So as I sat there at 8 a.m. waiting for the person to come to interview me, I stayed with the secretary and the personal assistant until nine, until 10. And then the personal assistant thought, oh, instead of keeping you here for long, let me just organize some space and do the interview for you. As she was doing that, the boss came in and said, oh, the gentleman is here. Let him come into my office. So as I followed him inside his office, he just took a moment, turned around, looked at me straight in the face, he was a tall, big gentleman. Of course, I'm short. I looked up and he asked me one question. Can you teach? I looked at him straight into the eye and I told him, yes, I can teach. He asked me, are you sure you can teach? I remember this vividly, standing very uh, tall, upright, my head up. And I told him, yes, I have taught before and I can teach again. At that moment, he paused, called one of the secretary. I remember her name was Dida. He said, Dida, come in. Dida comes in. He asked her, do you know this uh, young man? She said, no. Do you know this uh, young lady? He asked me. I said, no. The idea, he thought that because we come from the same community, probably we know each other. And we really didn't know each other. So 
just told the lady, this gentleman from your community has just started a job. And that is how I got my first job. And later on, I tried to diffuse what really happened there. And I realized it's a matter of how confident are you in what you say. In an interview, when you want to prove your value, when you want to get that six-figure salary, you have like three seconds to be able to project three things. And I'll talk about them later. Number one, you should be show that you are as sharp as a tack. Show enthusiasm and show yourself as an expert in that area. So I got my job. I was posted in CIA. We were setting up computer labs in schools and teaching students and teachers on how to use computers until around 2011 when I came across or what I now call the purposeful skills that enabled me to get a job, a six-figure salary job. And I'm going to talk about this, uh, how I ended up there and what these skills are. So then the thing is probably you, you don't want to be a teacher, but how does the job application process look like? Number one, you just get as many jobs uh, as possible, apply to as many as you can. If the guys are, uh, if you're lucky, you're invited for an interview. When you get to the interview, if the interviewers like you, you get a job, probably not even the job that you like, probably not even what, but uh, something that you're interested in, they are not paying you well, but just the fact that you didn't have a job and you get a job, you're happy to go for it. Now, that is not the same thing with the badass pro skills. Badass pro, bad pro skills are tried and tested techniques. You can predict the results that you're going to get out of. And I'm going to share with you uh, about them. Now, these skills don't only work for me. They also work for several other people. Now, this is a testimonial from a gentleman called Alexander. Alexander sent me an email telling me that, thank you, I attended career presentation last time. This Monday, I was interviewed for the position of liaison officer Kenya Airways. And Wednesday, this week, I got the job. I am the guy who asked several questions regarding the difference between an NGO and a corporate CV. Thank you, I really benefited a lot from your talk. Now, this is a gentleman who came just to our session. We were doing uh, trading. He asked a lot of questions. He came in. I took him through the coaching uh, proceed, uh, program. I told him what he needs to do, what he can be able to do. To... He ended up getting a job at Kenya Airways. So these skills not only work for me, they also work on other people. And I want you to get the same value out of it. So in this session, I am going to share two main secrets. In the next about 45 minutes or so, I'm going to share two main secrets. Number one, how to triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates. That is one of the questions that I always uh, get. What if there's another qualified person? What if there's someone who has more experience than me? What, how do I go about it? I'm going to show you how do you triumph over them. And number two, I will share with you how to negotiate a six-figure salary. So. Before we get into this, I want to just stop a little bit, see how, uh, how many people have been able to join us, any questions that you have so far. And uh, before, as we start, I want to ask you a very simple question. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? What does it amplify? I want you to just take a moment and think through it. Just close your eyes and ask yourself, where, how do I see myself? Where do I see myself? two months, three months, six months from now, having that a six-figure salary. What does it mean for you? So I will pause, leave it in the chat. Let me know what does a six-figure salary mean to you or what does it signify? Some people, it will be financial freedom. Some people, it will be the ability to provide for their family. Some people, it will be about traveling. Some people, it will be about building, buying houses, buying cars. I don't know. There are so many uh, things about it. So. I will pause a little bit and check some of your comments. And I want to know what is, what does a six figure salary mean to you? Thank you very much. I can see Fred Soy uh, saying, uh, yeah, you're joining us from Rai, uh, Santi Sana, Luke Muema from Kitengela, there is Wangoi, Masi Wangoi. I don't know where you're uh, from, but he's saying hi, thank you. So Joshua says six figure salary means uh, financial freedom for him. Thank you. 
Uh, I will be great, waiting to get Bob Henry Wanjala joining us from uh, Comarok. Uh -huh. So Rose Wadima saying it means financial stability. Faith Chalo saying it means um, invested. Yeah, getting more for investment. A six-figure salary means a better quality of life. Thank you. John saying from, oh, John is in Kitengela. Uh, then we have quarantine. Quit, quit time. Okay, quit time from Umoja. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? Learning a lot, joining from uh, Juja, that was Shady Asan Sana. Welcome to the session. There is, um, I'm trying to get, what does it mean? More investment, yeah. I'm sure at the moment you get more money, you are able to invest more, right? So I will take a little bit, I think, yeah, I want to see, oh yes, so you can see me everyone, we're good? Okay, good, someone else say a six figures success, meaning success, someone about great investment, uh, that is Rono saying six figure breakthrough, financial breakthrough and giving more back to the society. I really like that. The moment you get more, you are able to even serve your society. That was uh, Rono Asante Sana, Purity Canini saying financial freedom and more investment. That is very great because I can assure you, you cannot work for the rest of your life. If you find that you need to work for you to earn, you might not be in the right uh, position right now. But the moment you get this money, you can easily invest to allow yourself to earn even when you are not working. So I really like uh, this Quintan saying, we'll be able to educate my son to the level, yeah, some, about the family, educating for them to reach the highest level and to gain financial freedom. Thank you. There's Brian saying, thank you for this platform. It means financial breakthrough. Uh, Jeffrey talking about six figure means investing in my society. I like you guys. I, I think I've been touched the fact that more people are talking about even investing back to the society, giving back to the society, not only elevating yourself going up, but also finding others and growing with them up. I really appreciate it. I think we'll now continue. That was faith. Then I can see success. There's David Oyago uh, saying uh, borrow for resources available to deal with life challenges yes like what we are going through right now hello daniel this communication is very insightful and hope to get the video recording i am a network challenge in CI. yes after this i will send you the recording straight to your email so we were to go live on facebook i think it failed but don't worry we will have this recording and i will send it to you so asante sana uh, then that is, okay, I might not read all of them. I think I need to put Godana saying meeting uh, family responsibility. Priska saying for me it means liberation from debt and more investment. Thank you. So that is where I want to take you. So I can see some people also who have uh, sent some questions. Let's use the Q&A for main questions. Victor, thank you, saying this is great. There's Sebastian saying joining you from Kahawa, Wendani, Asante Sana, Benjamin Tag insightful that it is from Imara Daima. Then we have, this means uh, more investment. Just is Joel Rungai from Rungai. Yeah, so I would really appreciate if we can use the chat to just answer some of the questions that I'm able to raise um, or just engage with you. And then we can use the Q&A to ask very specific question based on what I have presented and you would like to learn more about. So let's move on with the presentation and see what we need to do. So as I said, I have two secrets that I'm going to share in the next, now I have about 40 minutes. Number one, how do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidate? And number two, how do you negotiate a six-figure salary? Now let's talk about how do you triumph over more qualified and experienced candidates? I, I, I'll give you a story. Let me give you a story. Now, back in 2011, as I was working in CIA as a computer technician and also computer tutor setting up computer labs, I applied for more jobs. I was still coming, especially to Nairobi, for so many interviews. I think I did five or six more interviews without getting the job that I was looking for. Then I applied to an international school to be a teacher, a British international school here in Nairobi. I got invited for an interview and I said, this job I must get. There is no two way about it. So I put in the time, I rehearsed, 
I prepared for the interview. I did all that needed to be done for you to be successful in an interview. So come that day, I left Sierra the, the, uh, the day before I traveled overnight. I went to the interview and I can remember almost word for word how that interview went. And as I left that interview, I was so confident. I was like 101%, they are going to invite me for an interview. No, they were going to give me that job offer because I did a good job. I was confident. I portrayed myself as an expert. I showed them I'm sharp. I am an expert in my area and I have the right enthusiasm that is needed for the job. So I, I went back to Sierra and sure, as taxes or dead. I was called the next day and I was told, we are happy to inform you that we have offered you the job. I was so happy. That was a dream coming true. This was the kind of a corporate high level job that I was looking for, teaching in an international school. It was so exciting for me. Then in the afternoon, I get another call from the same person who had called me to tell me that they had given me the job to inform me that unfortunately they were withdrawing the job offer. And I just felt almost depressed. I asked, why is that so? So they said, as much as you were the best interviewed, uh, the best candidate, we took your name to the board and they felt since this position was for a school which was about to take their first candidate class for IGCSC, and you don't have any experience in IGCSE, you don't have any qualification in teaching international education, we cannot offer you this job. So we ended up giving this position to the second best candidate. That's a log. I, I just didn't understand what that means. But at the back of my mind, I realized that I, as much as I was less qualified, I had less, ex no experience, I emerged the best candidate and they offered me the job. So there's some things that you can be able to do that will still position you as the best candidate, even without the experience or the qualification. And that is not something that only works for me, as I told you. These are what I call the badass pro skills. Now, look at this. This is a gentleman called Brian. Brian sends me an email telling me that, dear Daniel, I'm grateful for your services and would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews, three finance assistant position and two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure the finance position officer job and, was still, and, and I'm starting in January. Uh, attach finds the JD job description to update my CV and uh, of in regarding to the new position. So what does that, this is a gentleman, among the things that I'm going to assist you in this journey is having the right CV. So this gentleman ended up getting three job in my, uh, interview and he got what he wanted. Of course, the higher job and he was so grateful. This can also happen to you and I will share with you how that can happen to you. Again, here there's another person called Chep Kurui saying, hello, Daniel. Thank you for the thank you for always sharing how the how to answer questions in an interview. It begins in the beginning of this year. I secured a job that I have been dreaming to be a registry officer, and now I am one. Thank you and be blessed. So this person ended up getting his. I'm not so sure because I rubbed the other day his or her dream job. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but they ended up with their dream job. Just talking about the second concept about it. It's not also about just CVs, but how do you answer question in an interview? Interview coaching is a very important component. Just reading through the question might not, might not really cut it, but interview coaching plays a very, very big role. So you need to take time to think about that. Another happy customer. Jane saying, thank you guys for writing my CV in a professional way. I secured myself a job within a few months. I'm happy for the result. My current employer was pleased by my CV in such a way that I cannot explain. I went for four interviews and still it matched the best. Thank you. Again, working for Jane, 
going for so many interviews and still popping up as the best. This can be you. This can be the, you should be the next person sending me such an email and sharing it with the world about how great this thing really works. So probably you might be having some of this question in your head right now. Yeah. So how long does it take? I will tell you without a fact, uh, as a fact, this is a commercial job market and you are paid for the value that you bring into the market. And there are two sides to it. There's the value that you bring into the market and how valuable are you? So are you someone who is of value? It takes time to build, to be able to bring value to the market. It takes time to build value in yourself, but you're not paid for the time you are paid for the value. So think about value rather than how long it takes. For some people, it will take a short time. Some people, it might take long, but how much value are you able to accrue to yourself? Probably you're thinking, what about for office politics? I will teach you, I will show you how you can use office politics to your advantage. You can't do away with office politics. There's nothing you can do about it, but you can always take advantage of that. How do I convince management that I'm the right candidate? I can take more responsibility. I can tell you for sure you don't need to convince anyone. In this life, it is very hard for you to try and make someone uh, change their mind. But if you learn how to influence, I think influence is the best word. Rather than thinking about convincing, but influencing someone to take a certain uh, action, you are much better. Rob, do I need to quit my job? No, some of you will be more valuable in the same or in the same job or the same organization. Some of you will need to move to another organization. So that is not, but you will need to know what is the next step. Is it possible for me? Yes, it is possible for everyone. If it happened to those four gentlemen, I just showed you there was Mayna Kageni, there is Bob Collimoy, there was there is Chachi, there is uh, Jalamo. And these are just the people that are popular. They're, popular personalities. There are thousands and thousands of other people. It's only that they are not in the mainstream media, but they are doing it. And yes, it is possible for you too. So I want you to get this as a fact. It is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and more experienced than you. It is possible. I want to make that very clear. And before I go to the next secret, how to negotiate a six with the salary. Any question? How, what, what have you learned from just that first bit, whereby we talk about how to triumph over more qualified candidates? I'll go to check out the questions. I'll also look at the chat to be able to see um, your conversation. I really appreciate everyone who is joining us. Uh -huh. Where are the chats? I think I need to stop. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. Uh, let me try and go check. Okay, good. So I can see Nell saying, kindly send me the recording to my email. Thank you. Yes, after this, we'll be able to send the recording. I'm joining from uh, Kitengela. That is Victor Taros joining from uh, uh, this Doreen. Ah, joining from Gilroy for four. Thank you very much. Uh, there's faith of, I must believe in myself. Yes, it's of course you will start from that point believing in yourself, but there are some things that you need to put in place, but I really appreciate that. Frederick Soy, I'm getting a lot from this seminar. Karibu Sana, I am so happy uh, to be here to serve you. Uh, there was John Stephen joining for Mikia. Okay, Asante Sana. Um, more Francis, okay, joining us from Mombasa. Thank you very much, Francis. Francis was here with us during the last uh, presentation. He took advantage of the offer that we had. I want to just say, if Francis, you can be able to give maybe a testimonial, how have you uh, liked the program so far? Just write it, I'll be able to read it here. I really appreciate that. Thank you for these opportunities. That is Johnson, there is Nell. Rea Masinde. Hi, Daniel. This is Nerea. My, my first time um, using Zoom. I'm happy and thank you for the technology. Oh, yes, this is great. I can assure you this kind of situation forces you to embrace technology. And being a first time to use Zoom, you will learn a lot. 
for me. So let me just uh, take a moment to read some of the questions that uh, have come in or financial freedom as well, or that is Millicent answering, what does a six figure salary mean to you? So if you're just joining us, take the moment and uh, just in the chat, tell me what does a six figure salary mean to you? Okay, moving on, there's um, anonymous attendee. I attended an interview and I was told I was overqualified. Unfortunately, I was denied the job. Does it mean employers fear highly educated persons. Now, I think it is a very unfortunate situation that people even use the term overqualified. You shouldn't be overqualified. But the reason why we have this kind of scenarios where people talk about overqualification is you go there to talk more about your papers, your degrees, your what you've done, your qualification. And that tips off the employers. Some of the employers will fear but if you go there talking more from a value point of view, how you can be able to help them achieve whatever they, they want to achieve in life or in the organization, you will find that you are more valuable as a person. So it's a matter of how you present yourself. So anonymous attendee, please drop me an email. I will share with you how you can be able to tackle such situation and never find yourself on the bad side of being called overqualified, yeah? So talk to me, my email, I will, let me just, I'll put it in the chat. I, the, can I be able to, okay, daniel at careerpoint.co.k. I'll put it in the chat later so that everyone can see. So I don't must let me know. So six weeks salary means a good amount what I can pay for your requirement, which can pay for your requirements. Yeah, that means you're able to pay what you have. There's another uh, anonymous attendee saying, I have applied for very many jobs, which I think I qualify for, but I don't get any feedback. I have a master's degree. What could be the problem? You, How you're doing your application, you're doing it wrong. I can assure you, I have helped people who have done thousands of job applications. And the moment I guide them on how to do it right, they get a response immediately. So, Talk to me. My email is daniel at careerpoint.co.k. I'll put it in the chat. Let me go through these uh, questions. But somewhere in the, uh, I'll share with you my email and how you can be able to do it. Someone using a Galaxy A saying, I have worked for about five years as a financial accountant and five years as a credit controller. I haven't reached a six with a salary. Kindly share how to progress to make a better company and a credit as a credit manager. I think I saw your question on email, and I think I can be able to help you to get that point of credit manager. You have valuable experience, five years as a financial accountant, another five years as a credit controller. It is high time for you now to go as a credit manager, and as a credit manager, without doubt, you will get the six-figure salary. I'll be able to assist you. Hope you're the same person who sent me an email. I'll talk to you about uh, that. Uh, or sticking through this session, I'll be able to guide you. I'll talk some of the things that will be help you. What if the position requires more qualification? Qualifications are just a, me a metric that they use to see how much value you will be bringing. The assumption, as I said, big corporation, government, education system, tries to make it as if, if you have high qualification, you have bringing more value. But that is not usually the case. So, Godana Hassan, I'll show you how you do that. Doreen, a six-figure salary sounds critical for a fresh graduate, doesn't it? Now, here's the other thing. You are already undermining yourself the fact that you are a fresh graduate. Of course, it is logical that you will need to take time to get to that six-figure salary. But who said it can't happen after two or three months or even one year? So stop undermining your value Stop thinking yourself as just a fresh graduate. Stop thinking yourself as just someone who has a diploma. That is not the right way. So, I'll uh, Doreen, stick in. You'll get a lot of value from this session. I'll take two more questions so that I can be able to proceed. What is badass in pool? What uh, does it take? So, in Phoenix, I'll tell you badass. I'll explain in, uh, in a short while, but this is a bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled and self-assured individual. Check in. I'll let you know how you join, uh, what it takes to for when I'm dreaming to be an employer. 
you can end up also as an employer and get a six figure salary. This works both ways. I attended an interview. I was told that I was, I think I mentioned that. Oh, I was overqualified for the position. I was told to wait for a bigger job. However, I was picked for the same position, territory sales. Okay, thank you, Joshua, for that. I think it was a different question. Okay, more questions coming in. Please send them in. My uh, colleague, Maureen, will be answering some of those questions. Then I'll be able to check the others. So I am going to go back to it. So there's Rose. I can see there's a question, anonymous attendee. There's Isaac. I can see your question. There's Catherine. Uh, Catherine, I can see your question. I'll be able to go through that shortly. So as we proceed with this uh, broadcast, I want to say this. Um, okay, there's more people on the chat. So let me just put my email address, daniel at careerpoints.co.ke. That is my email address. All, all panelists, I think, I don't know if you can see it on the chat, but it's okay. So moving on. So we have just seen how it is possible for you to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced than you. So the second secret is what I'm about now to dive into. Number one is how to negotiate a six-figure salary. There was a research that was done by Jobbyte, which is a recruitment uh, firm and um, HR uh, institution. And these figures are quite interesting. It says that 84% of salary negotiation always results to higher salaries. So that means if today you decide to go out there and try and negotiate your salary, chances of you succeeding are very high, 84%. Then why is it that most people don't do this? Or why is it that so many people don't have those salaries that they expect? This is another statistic that came from that study. It says that 14%, only 14% of employees negotiate salaries at their current job. Now, why is it that we have a very small figure of individuals who are trying to negotiate their salaries? Why they know very clearly that the higher you, when you try and negotiate, you will get higher salaries. And as I did my research, now this was not in this job by research, I came to learn of something known as egocentric bias. And this is on a basic level is when we, we are so much involved in our situation, we really don't see what others are doing or what, what is going around us. We're so much focused on ourselves. And in an employment or in a job sector, it will be like an employee who really works hard, beats the deadline, does over and above what is needed. And they expect the management, the supervisors, the managers to see his or her good work and give them a bonus or a salary increment. But they never really go out and ask. The manager, the supervisor is so much involved with his own job that they really don't see what you're doing. So you end up going home very unsatisfied, thinking that someone doesn't see what the good job you're doing. But the only difference that you can do is go out there and actually ask for a higher salary. So, only a very small percentage of people really negotiate their salaries. And I want to ask in the comments, please let me know, how many of you have ever gone out there? How many of you have negotiated for a salary in the current job that you're in? You know, most of us really leave it for us to negotiate salary when we have a new job, where we were looking for a new job during an interview. But once you get to that job, it's like you're doomed. You can... How many of you in the chat, I really like to see uh, let me just put the chat on. How many of you have ever negotiated your salaries in your current job? Uh, this is Steven saying, thank you, Daniel. Then there's Johnson. Thank you, Daniel. Kindly share the audio with me. I can see your email address. Okay. Okay, I can see David or Ayoras raising his hand. So you have negotiated your salary in your current job? Okay. Uh, that is uh, Mashar Kasili saying, I haven't, but want to. What is stopping you from doing that? So I'm sure even if I do a survey right now, out of all of you so far, we are several, about yeah, eight, 57 people right now in this live broadcast. 
how many of you have negotiated salary in your current job position right now? So I can see I have never asked, that is Joshua, should I go through the mail or book appointment with you, okay, or with the HR? There is Frederick saying, I have negotiated, my boss is short-tempered, my, I have negotiated, my short, boss is short-tempered, my lay with you off. So you have done that, okay, that is uh, Fred. Um, there's Victor saying, what do you do with employers who threaten to fire you if you ask for salary increment? I think how you go asking for negotiation is what really makes the difference. And I'm going to explain that uh, shortly. And just moving on, I'm saying, anyone who's confident enough to try, they usually succeed. But here are the tips on how you go and negotiate the salary. Now coming to that question, what do you do if someone now threatens to fire you? These are the armor with tips that you can use to renegotiate your salary. Number one, know the salary you want before getting into a negotiation. Because if you don't know what you want, you will not know if you get what you really wanted. You will be thrown off your game. So it is important for you to know what you want. And this is not just a random arbitrary figure, but is based on you knowing what is your value. What is your worth? Do you know how much you are worth right now? Not in terms of uh, net worth, what you own, but worth in terms of when you go to the job market. I'll be sharing with you how you can be able to get to know your uh, worth. Number two, make the company realize your value. Once you know your value, then you need to be able to communicate and let the company understand clearly what is your value. What is your worthwhile, meaningful contribution? You need to understand what is it that you're doing different in this organization? What is your meaningful contribution? And that makes it a game changer. Rather than just saying, I would like to get a higher salary because I've been here for the last five, six, 10 years. It doesn't make sense. Actually, you shouldn't even be given a higher salary just because of the tenure, the time that you have been there. Number three, use comparables to justify your salary. And if you don't know how to justify the figure that you are, how then will you convince the other person that you are worth more? So I, what I want to put across here is that you can be able, there are certain tools that I will share with um, members later, later. How do you compare your salaries? Do you know the salaries in your industry? Do you know the salary in that job position that you're in? How can you use that to justify? The position. I want to show you this. Um, I want to demonstrate it in a different way. Now, here is the email I got from Julius, and this is just uh, this year in February. He says, Greetings this evening. I am writing to appreciate your work. It is barely two months after I used your reviewed CV. I am glad that I have landed two jobs. I have taken the one I prefer and I'm working towards completing my course monitoring and evaluation. Career point solutions, you're the best. So these are gentlemen, two months, barely two months, get two job offers and end up picking one that they prefer. Hold that thought right there. I'll show you another email from a gentleman called Lawrence. Lawrence says that I am happy to inform you that after two, after you guys reviewed my resume, I received three different calls for interviews within a span of 24 hours. Within a span of one week, I attended all the interviews. And fortunate enough, I secured all the three jobs. This was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year. I only had the difficult task choosing which one to go for, but eventually I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. So I want to pause and ask you a very simple question. This is a gentleman getting three job offers. The other gentleman gets two job offers and picks one. According to you, what do you think is one of the, what is the criteria that you would use when you have two or more job offers to decide which one you go for? What is normally the biggest or the main criteria people use or you would use when you get two job offers or more? How do you pick which one to go for? I want to see that in the chat below. So what would you use? Uh, 
Okay, I'm sorry, I think I messed up the slides, but I want to see some of your, okay. So someone says, NERA, culture of the organization, growth, opportunities, salaries, and other benefits. Thank you. I think the basic uh, salaries and benefits. Joshua said, I'll pick one with the highest salary. Definitely. Should I include my current employee in my referee list? Okay, I think that's a different question. My question, uh, I'll come to that. My question is, what criteria would you use to decide which, organ uh, which company to go for when you have two or more job offers? Joshua says, oh, we'll pick one with a high salary. Okay, we have um, Priska say, well, for me, I'll choose the one with higher salary and benefits. Thank you for being genuine. Opportunity for growth, Marshall Kasili. Okay, that's a good terminology, but what is that growth? Isn't it about salary? Joel, okay, then there is Rose, talking about uh, uh, salary benefits and the size of a company. I will choose one with the highest salaries and get uh, Paid career, terms of employment, that is joy. What are these terms of employment? With no doubt, for those people who are really, really very genuine and they are true to themselves, I can assure you without a doubt, it's about the salary. One of the criteria that you can use to pick is about salary, something that will have benefits and all that. And even on the other side, you can actually use two job offers to fight each other and get the most. Actually go and say, yeah, I already have an offer here, but you see, they already see the value that I'm bringing in. And this is what they're offering me. Go here. And you end up getting the highest salary. Yeah. Thank you for being honest. This brand, I will choose salary, higher salary and opportunities for career growth. Thank you. What again is career growth? That is again at the end of it. For salary. Thank you for being genuine. Steph, uh, Steven, salary, terms of employment. Thank you. What is that terms of employment? Uh, Unis, I would uh, choose the one fulfill. Of course, I will consider salary, but terms matters. Thank you. If we are really genuine about ourselves, we will go for the one with higher salary. And I can assure you, that is why we are in this session here. I want to show you how to get a six week salary. It's about the money. Money is not everything, but I can assure you, it ranks up way up high there, together with oxygen, when it comes to things that we need in life. Money is an empower, it empowers you, it allows you to live the life that you live. It allows you to be more fulfilled, to be more happy, to get what you need, what is necessary, and all that kind of thing. So let's be honest with ourselves. So this is what I want to say, that with no doubt, it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. I want you to get that in your head. I want you to say it right now that it is possible for you to negotiate a higher salary and get it. If you are alone, you can say it out loud. If you are together with people, you can just say it quietly. But if you don't mind, just say, yes, it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. Probably these are some of the questions that you're having in your head. How do I know I'm heading in the right direction? In our program, we will give you tools and uh, to be able to track and monitor your progress because we don't want you just to be playing around and you're not sure if things are working for you. Only at the end of it, realize you are heading in the right, in the wrong direction, spending two, three, five years in the wrong direction. I need to, how do I network with the right people? I'll tell you this. I also did my research in, on, on LinkedIn. It says that 85% of these high paying jobs, leadership and management positions, they are filled up through networking. These jobs are not advertised. 85% of the jobs are hired through networking. And you need to be able to be in the right position for you to get the right network with the right people. With the Borders Group program, I will be sharing that you will get a community of highly influential people in today's job market. And if you network with the right people, you will get there. So this is a solution I'm going to give you. Yes, you need networks. I'm not talking about corruption. I'm not talking about bribing. I'm talking about networks. Networks, your network is your network. I got that from uh, a lady, uh, the queen of networking. That is Sarah Karibi, one of my mentors. Thank you very much. Am I too young? Am I too old? There's, not, it, there's nothing to do with your age. 
I just saw one of the questions, someone saying, how do I get the six figure salary and I'm just a fresh graduate? That is someone who is undermining their value just because either they feel they are young, they don't have any experience, but it's not about age. The other day I got a very, uh, another email, someone saying, after I guided them, they got a job of a consultancy that they were looking for. After giving them, they call it youthful advice. Yes, I'm young, but I was able to advise someone who is even older than me and use those skills and got it. You can use your age as an advantage. If you're young, you're a millennial, the advantages that come with that, if you're old, there's some there's experience, there's something that is, uh, there are some things that come with the age. You can be able to use that. What matters most is it experience or qualification? I can say that question is neither here or there. None, but how do you present it? How do I balance work and personal life? I think most people talking about terms of condition because you also want uh, terms of employment, enough time for your family and also for your personal life. It would be useless for you to get a six-figure salary only to spend 18 hours at that workplace and not having the time to spend that six-figure salary. So we'll be able to find that balance. You're probably asking, how do I measure track evaluate my progress. I think I've already mentioned there are tools that will help you to do that. How do I fix myself in the succession plan? There are some companies which have succession plans. And if you position yourself, you can be able to position yourself in that succession plan, even without those people knowing, and you end up getting into the leadership and management of that company, their techniques, their skills, and they are all learnable, and I'll be able to share with you. What are the qualities of a person with a six figure salary? Uh, what is the quality of a person worth six figures? There are some qualities and uh, the qualities and description of the people who have this. And you will get to a point where you can easily exemplify them. I'll teach you how. How do I get started? I am going to show you now in the next five minutes how you get started, but I want us to make this very clear. I want to ask a question. If I show you exactly how you can get your dream job, do you believe me that you can get a six-figure salary? Leave a yes in the chat. My question to you, everyone who is here, if I show you exactly how you get your dream job, do you believe that you can get to a six-figure salary? I read the charts coming in right now. Yes, I believe Eunice. That is John saying yes. Godana, yes. Faith or Gori, yes. Frederick, yes. Uh, Howard Nyaga saying yes. Judy, yes, I believe. There is uh, Rose, yes. Stephen, yes. David saying yes, definitely. Otiambo Molo, there's just, they are coming in. Thank you very much. If you believe that is so, then let me show you how you can be able to do that. And um, yeah, I, I, I want to ask this uh, question because I know you've already said the yes. Is it okay? for me to take about 10 minutes to explain to you what is badass pro program. I define my own destiny and show you how this program can be able to get you to that six figure salary. Is it okay? So just say yes, show us or yes, tell me what is badass pro program. So I want to ask for your contribution for the next like 10 minutes or so. Is it okay for me to explain to you what is badass pro and how it can be able to assist you to get to the six so just say yes, show us. Yes, I need to know. I can see Odiambo, yes, go ahead. Godana say go, uh, thank you. Uh, okay, now, where did this yes? So many of them. David saying yes. Jo Johnson, yes, do. Frederick, okay, waiting. Valerie, yes, oh, I believe. Uh, more people coming in. Grace Mwendo was saying yes. There's Rose saying yes. There's John Maitia saying yes. There's Joe. Okay, good. I think I've received enough yes. I think sure, Rose Modami saying yes, please. I I'm going to tell you uh, now about this uh, Barras Pro program. Okay, I think my slide got messed up a little bit. Um, yes, I want to talk about this Baras Pro program. Now, so what does Baras Pro stand for? Baras Pro, I explained earlier, but I'll just go step by step. It defines an individual who is very confident, aggressive, and competitive. 
you need to have these qualities. And the Barra School stands for someone who is very bold, not just bold in terms of courage, but also confidence. Someone who is authentic. You are not just saying things to please people. You're very authentic and in terms of your skills and your capability. Someone who is driven. You don't need someone to keep on pushing you. This is someone who is driven. Someone who is very aggressive. I can assure you, you don't wait for things to happen. You make things happen. You're not just a consumer, you're a producer. Someone who is skilled, and skills are very important. Not qualification, please. Don't get me wrong. Someone who is skilled. And finally, someone who is self-assured. The skills, they are aggressive, go for what is needed. They are confident. So, a badass pro, someone who's bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured. I am a badass pro. I define myself as a badass pro. Are you ready to become a badass pro? So leave it in the chat. Say, yes, I'm ready to become a badass pro. Would you like to be a badass pro? I am a badass pro. Are you ready to become a badass pro? Uh, minute to go through. Definitely, that is Sebastian. Uh, yes, I'm ready. That is Rose. There is Eunice ready. Joshua saying, yes, I'm ready. Frederick, yes, I'm ready. Johnson, yes, I'm ready. Faith of Hero again, saying I'm ready. Priska, you're ready. Thank you. John Mitha saying very ready. You are ready to become a Badass Pro. So this is what you get with Badass Pro. If today you decide to join the program, Badass Pro program, and to become a Badass Pro, this is what you will get. Number one, I will put you through a six-week coaching program that in terms of the value that you get out of it, it is worth 100,000 or even more, but let's put it at 100,000. So this six-week program, it will take you through this. So week one, we'll talk about how do you get started? Yeah, having the right mindset, having the right tools, having what is needed. So we go through what is needed uh, what to get started. Week two, I will coach you and take you through for you to understand. You need to get to know your world and how much should you be paid. So we'll evaluate you, we will tell you what you are worth, what you can, uh, what to be paid at that particular point, and then what can you be able to do to increase your worth to gain more. Number week three, we'll talk about building confidence and competence. Week four, we'll talk about mastering communication, influence, and networking. As I said before, everything is a matter of communication and how do you make people influence them rather than just bulldoze and convince uh, trying to convince people and networking, getting the right networks. Week five, we'll talk about the tracking and evaluating your progress. How far you uh, you come? How long will it take you to get the most? And finally, we'll talk about salary negotiation skills and interviewing skills in general. But we'll focus on a six-figure salary negotiation program for a whole week. So you will get the six-week uh, coaching. On top of that. We will give you a professional certification masterclass. Again, what about 100,000? So, so far, if you join the program, you will get value worth 200,000. We have four main project, uh, four main masterclasses, certification program. We have what we call ma project management. We have project monitoring and evaluation. We have strategic management and leadership. We have fundraising and resource mobilization. So out of all this, you will decide which masterclass do you want to do and get the professional certification i can tell you if you want to get where the money is it is the ngo and the international organization and what are kind of the skills that they are looking for that is why we have three courses based on ngo and international organization project management project monitoring evaluation fundraising and resource mobilization with those skills you are indispensable in the ngo and development jobs Again, for you to get to that higher salary, you need to be able to get to the point where it is about leadership and management position. And so, in such a case, we will let you do this course called Strategic Management and Leadership. You position yourself as the right person to take the next leadership and management position. So, you will get one of these courses. On top of that, we will give you what we call professional CV writing. Again, worth about uh, 3,000. So far, you join the program, you get value worth 203,000. 
So what is a professional CV? Most of us have CVs, which is basically a documentation of where you went to school and what, where you have worked and a list of your referees. But a professional CV is a document that you use to market yourself. We might not have the luxury of having billboards and notice boards and brochures and newspaper magazines where we present our skills, but you're using your CV. You need also to understand what is it, what are the skills that you're selling here? You, you need to understand what are you selling, it's your skills, your ability, your qualification, your experience, your employer. So how you communicate it really matters. It is said it takes about six seconds for a hiring manager to decide if they're going to redo your CV or not. My question to you, does your CV pass the six second test? So I'll give you a small exercise. I want us to look at this uh, guy's CV. So this guy is called Daniel Mutuku, male, Kenyan, married, date of birth, all that. So if you see this, do you need six seconds? I want to ask you a question. What can this guy do? Absolutely nothing is communicated to this CV. And this is what most of us have. CVs with very vital information. This is very vital information, very important, but it doesn't make, it does not communicate your value, what you're bringing on board. We give this person a benefit of doubt, decide to scroll down to see what are the career objective. And most of us have their career objective as this statement. I am seeking employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. Again, a very selfish statement, telling the employer what you want from them rather than what you're bringing on board. I am seeking opportunities where I can grow fully and use my skills for success of the organization. Again, good wording, but again, not communicating anything. I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment that provides me with a of opportunities. I want to excel in this field with hard work. These are some statements which sound very good, but they don't mean anything. And I have just copied from some of of the CVs that I get, probably one of your CV has one of these statements. So you don't need this, you need a professional CV that will sell you. On top of that, we will add what we call, uh, we'll give you sample cover letters. Cover letters are very highly customized application letter. So I picked a job description at random for an accountant and some of these are the ro uh, roles for this accountant. Review and establish proper accounting system supporting budget and focusing activities, liaising with internal and external auditors. For you to be able to write a very good cover letter that will convince the employer that you're the right candidate, you should have a statement like this in your cover letter. I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment as at ASBC, I was involved liaising with internal and external auditors. So if you read this, it basically shows that, yeah, this is the kind of person that we are looking for. Yeah, so on top of that, we will include now what we call LinkedIn profile guide, what about 2,500? In this day and age, we don't just need to have a CV that is on our drive, on our computers, on our flash disk. We need to have a live living CV, which is a professional profile on LinkedIn. So many of the clients that I've helped, they have actually gotten their job through LinkedIn. Again, the biggest professional networking platform. I talked about 85% of jobs being gotten through networking. A bigger majority is happening in LinkedIn. So how is your profile on LinkedIn? A LinkedIn is a live breathing CV, a CV that is working for you even when you're asleep. So what, even without applying, you can get invited for an interview. International organization, NGOs, they are hiring through LinkedIn. Just by a click of a button, you send your profile there, they read through and they decide if they're hiring you or not. So you need to optimize your LinkedIn profile. On top of that, we'll do interview coaching. Again, what about 2,500? So far, the value of the program that you will get is about 210,000 in terms of value. But of course, I'm not going to charge you that. So when you talk about interview coaching, you need to understand some of the questions that you will be asked. Think about through how to answer them. One of 99% of the 99.99% of the interview you go, the first question you will be asked is tell us about yourself. And this is where most people fumble. And based on how you answer this question will determine how the rest of the interview goes. So, so far I'm talking about the value of about 210,000, but that is not what I'm going to charge you.
for you to join the Bada School program, I have a very special offer that I want to pose to you. But before I talk about this offer, I want to ask if this program, what you get just from this program is to get you to that six figure salary. If this program was just to get you to the six figure salary, do you think it will be worth it? Here's a question to you. I'll wait for you to answer. If this program was just to get you to the six figure salary, do you think it is worth it? I'll be waiting to hear from you. Just leave it in the chat right there. I'll read very quickly. Sebastian, uh, I think there was a question. Yes, it is worth it. That is Frederick. Then there's Priska saying yes. Joshua saying yes. Faith, yes. Eunice, yes. Uh, there's Odiambo Omolo. Yes, it is worth it. Judy Bog is saying yes, it is worth it. I really appreciate it. Yes, it is worth it. Every penny. Yes, it is. That is Rose. Thank you. Josh Stone saying yes. Brian, yes. Kim Tyrone, yeah. Onesmas, there is a shed, uh, Shady saying yes. Galaxy Joy saying yes, it is worth it. Grace Moira saying yes, it is worth it. I really appreciate it. Thank you for confirming that. Techno saying yes, it is. Point time, what is the masterclass mean to bring the 100 worth? Yes, you will get a masterclass worth 100,000. Yes, Victor. So, this is what I'm going to say. I had two choices when I was trying to even try to price this course. I had the choice of making it very cheap so that I can get as many people as possible. And the other option was to make it slightly a higher investment and dedicate my time and effort to guarantee your success. And I went with the second option. So for you guys, I have a very special offer for you. For you to get the six weeks coaching program, one of the certification masterclass professional CV writing, sample cover letter, LinkedIn profile guide and interview coaching. You're going just to get it at only 19,999. And this offer lasts up to Sunday midnight. This Sunday, it will be 12th uh, April, Sunday midnight. And all you need to do is at least make a 50% payment. You can pay the whole amount that is 19,999 or you can just pay 50%, which is 9,999. So through the TIL number, 715732. This is the special offer I'm giving to all of those people who have attended this live broadcast that you have until Sunday, 12 midnight, at least to make a payment, full payment of 19,999, or at least 50%, which is 9,900. Ninety-nine, And at this point, you will get all these services. You will get a six-week coaching program. You'll get one of the certification courses. You will get professional CV writing. You will get sample cover letter. You'll get a LinkedIn profile guide. You'll get interview coaching. All of it included. Here's a better part. There is an absolute no excuse for you not to take action because we are giving you 100% money back guarantee. If it doesn't work for you, if whatever we I'm saying you will get, you don't get within 30 days, you get your money back. If you don't get to a point where you start applying and getting response from employer for point of securing a good the dream job or even a six-figure salary, we will return your money back. So there's no excuse for you not taking action. And again, in this session, I want to say this: we have two types of people. There's some people who really listen to such a presentation. As I've already gotten some of your feedback saying, this is great, I liked it. You just shake your head and say, yes, this is great. And then there are some people, and then after that, you do nothing. There are some people who see this, take action. Who, which kind of person of you, uh, which kind of a person are you? We have those who are just doublers and action takers. Are you an action taker or just someone who wastes your time getting more information and never really taking action? So that's my question to you. Which type are you? I can tell you the return on investment on in action. If you do nothing about it, nothing will happen for you. You will continue being in the same place that you've been in. But the return of taking action, you will see things change. You will see your life changing. You will start getting closer to that six-figure salary to a point where you get all those things that we talked in as we started, your financial freedom. You get more uh, money tools take your kids to good education. You get more money to invest. You get money to give it back to the community. 
that is the return on investment if you decide to take action. Unfortunately, we only have 24 hours. This is research that has been done that if you hear such great presentation and you don't take any action, uh, sorry, if you hear such great present and within the next 24 hours, you don't take any action, I can assure you nothing will happen to you. So starting now is 8.44. You have about 24 hours for you to take action. Because if you don't take action in the next 24 hours, not even signing up for the Bada School program, not taking action on what I've talked about negotiating for salary, trying to uh, get the right CV, getting the right interview skills, if you do nothing about it in the next 24 hours, chances of you taking action later goes back to you. So until tomorrow, 8.45, you better have taken an action. So my email is daniel at careerpoint.co.k. If you want to get uh, in touch with me, I can be able to assist you too. I am going to be answering questions shortly. So please don't uh, leave, leave your comments in the chat or in the question q and i I'll go through the question. But you can contact me. My email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. And if you want to know more information about the BADA Stroke program, go to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash BADAS. Now, again, six week coaching program for only 19,999. I want to say this the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. I learned this from Baron Tessie that the 10 10 rule it is say that you take about 10 percent from our tradition type it use it to help other people i put it to you take another 10 percent of your salary and invest it in yourself when you invest in yourself that is where you get the highest return on investment for every shilling you invest in yourself today you will get 30 shillings in return over time that is 3,000% return on investment. Tell me, with the stock market right now crashing in real estate, which is not peaking, where do you think you'll get a 3,000% return on investment? Only when you invest in yourself. Why not use the 10-10 rule? Take 10% to tithe, help other people. Take another 10% of your salary to help yourself and invest in yourself. So again, that is what you're going to get all these six weeks of coaching. But before I go, you will also get this the certificate that we usually offer. I want to say this, yeah? I have a very special offer for anyone right here. If you decide to take action in the next, yeah, we have about 15 minutes before we close. If you take action right now and pay at least the 50%, here's the thing that I'm promising. You'll get all these services that we are offering plus all the four courses certification project management project monitoring and evaluation project um, fundraising and resource mobilization leadership strategic management and leadership so right now if you take action pay at least the 50 percent or the full amount when we are here live you will get all these services that we are offering plus i will ensure that you get all the four courses no, at no extra charge. On top of that, I have, uh, you will get a notebook. If you take action right now, you get this notebook saying, I am a badass. There's a free notebook for you. And on top of that, you also get a branded t-shirt saying, I am a badass. So I like people who would like to take action right now. Before we close this and I start answering questions, so we have about 30 more minutes. Take your phone, go to Lipa Nine Pesa, send 15, at least 9,999 through the TIL number one seven uh, seven one five seven three two right now and get all the four certification courses. So this is a special bonus for only those people who are going to pay now. If you pay later after the broadcast, you have until midnight on Sunday to take advantage of this. So I will go to the questions. I will be able to answer them. But remember, right now, go get uh, the notebook. I am a badass pro, and you will also get this great T-shirt. I know. Jo I don't know, Joseph. Are you still? This Francis. Are you still here? You'll be able to get. Um, 
I sent you today the t-shirt and uh, maybe you can give us the feedback. So I'm here, let me see the, some of the comments. Daniel, I really uh, interested in it. I can't afford the 19.99 right now. Is it possible to give a special discount? I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. You just need to pay 50%. You don't need to pay at least all of the amount right now. If you pay 50% right now, I'm still looking at the clock. We have 11 minutes. You get all the four courses, but you still have until Sunday. Do you get the six week coaching, the certification masterclass, at least one, the interview coaching, professional simulating. So yeah, Calvin Karaoke asking, my 10% is 500, too bad, cannot afford. Thank you, at least I can dream big. Now, let me just say this. It is not, how much you are right now, but that 10%, you can continue building up on it. I can assure you, if you take time and build it up, that 500 over time, can you multiply that by 3,000% and see how much it can be? So it's not a matter of just the one month that is what you're using. Actually, as a matter of fact, we should have started earlier to try to build up your investment uh, portfolio for yourself, but it doesn't mean you can't start now. That's okay. Frederick, I am more than willing to register. Current situation does not allow me because I have no job. But I can assure you, yes, you might be in a difficult position, but you should be able to start thinking, how do you invest in yourself? That is where you get the highest value of it all. Is that okay? I am waiting to see um, anyone who's going to pick up on the offer right now. Uh, for them to get any questions that you have also, I'll be able to answer them. Uh, that is Frederick, I think I've already answered that. I can see Quantine saying, with the current situation where I'm at home because of the COVID-19, can I pay a deposit of any amount? If you make any deposit right now, any amount, as smart as you show commitment, I can assure you get all the courses. Quantine, Ali V, eh? Alibiza. Yes, make a commitment right now and get all the services plus all the four courses, six weeks of coaching, professional CV writing, get the sample cover letter, LinkedIn profile guide, interview coaching and getting right people. So I can see Felix uh, Shallow raising your hand. Please just leave it as a comment or a, uh, on the chat. I'll be able to get uh, to you. I can see who else here. So Kimutai, is it possible to get LinkedIn profile and professional CV both at 50%? I don't want to lose this opportunity. Okay, you can get these services one by one, like CV writing, LinkedIn profile guide, yes, but it will not be of great value if you don't bundle it up. But if you want to go for that, yes, you can get the 50% and uh, start off. I, it's okay. So thank you, Kimutai, for that. I can see how the classes be held. Now, all the classes that we're having on the masterclass are online classes. So you pay for it right now. Tomorrow, we'll be able to create an account and you start learning right away. So it is an, they are online classes. We'll create a, a portal for you in our a learning portal. We'll create an account. You log in, you start off, you can read in the evening, in the morning, during the day time. It takes about 10 to 15 hours to complete. So with a simple plan, with an hour per day, within two weeks, you will be through. Right now, you might be having even more time within a week. You can be through with one class. So thank you, Priska, for that uh, question. Uh, it depends with the field that you studied. This job related to statistic research, but nothing is impossible. It could be though. I don't get the question that was Sebastian. Okay, quick here. I can see if I pay less than 50% now, Will I start the program? How much are you willing to pay? Yes, as long as you show the commitment. You can pay what you have right now, Frederick. I'm waiting. There's someone who has the tail number. They let me know once you make that uh, deposit and you will start off. Yeah, so Frederick, knock yourself off. Rose saying, um, such a nice deal. Wish I was in a position, but too bad I'm not working now. You don't need to be working for you to invest in yourself. That is what I would say. Yeah, uh, I have committed myself with a deposit of uh, 1,000. Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, Kimutai. Maureen can confirm to me. She has the till number. That is one of my colleagues. Uh, I, I don't want to lose a question here and see. 
I had seen a question here, so um, coming in. Uh, that is Nerea, the six week coaching, is it a daily session or once per week? Okay, it is done online, but we will have one on one. So we have one session once per week, but there are several activities that you will be doing like the rest of the week. There are sometimes you can do one day, two days, but the activities that you will be doing, some homework, some worksheets, some stuff that you will be, I say, but it is once per week. Right now, it might not be possible to have the one-on-one, -on -one, but we can still have some Zoom call and chat and guide you. So Nera, thank you very much for that question. I think uh, that was a question that I was about to lose it. It's great if it's an online class, let me plan myself and respond before 24 hours. That was, I think that was Joel. Joel, I want to give you a very special offer, yeah? As much as you're trying to plan yourself in the next 24 hours, I want you to take action right now before we close this live broadcast so that you can be able to get all the four certification courses. As I, someone said, you don't need even to make the whole uh, payment, but at least to make a commitment. And within the next, as I said, it's up to Sunday 13th, uh, Sunday 12th, to get up to the 50%, you will be able to get your special offer. So thank you very much, Joel. Make at least a commitment right now. I can see Kim Try Rono saying I uh, made a deposit of a thousand. Thank you very much. Maureen will just confirm to me shortly. Uh, then that's great if it's an okay. I think it's a repeated question. The whole class coaching were online. What I can say, coaching we will have one-on-one, -on -one, but the classes that we are offering, all of them are fully online. So for the certification courses, fully online. For the coaching is a balance of online and one-on-one -on -one, uh, session. Hope that was helpful. Yes, so great. So don't forget, great opportunity for you right here. I, I can't stop writing down on this uh, great notebook and telling people that I am a badass pro. You get also a great t-shirt. I'm a badass pro. So take action right now. Freddy Kimutai, you get yourself a t-shirt and a notebook. Thank you for taking action. I want to come, I can see some questions. Uh, let me see. Judy, can I pay in installment? Yes, you can pay in installment. So the most important thing is for you at least to make the commitment right now, then we can agree on how you pay the installment. Is that okay? So Judy Bogo, Asante Sana, make a commitment or leave uh, your number or your email, we'll get in touch. Yeah, Maureen confirms that uh, Kiprono Mutai has sent the 1,000. I appreciate that. Okay. I can see another, uh, is the training done online? Judy, I think I've responded to that. The online master classes are done online. They are fully online courses, but the coaching is a balance of online and physical uh, beta. Yeah. So I have another question. This is Frederick. So now with the current pandemic in Kenya, it's almost impossible for me to register, uh, though I'm willing, will you give the same point? Okay, these are very rare occasions that we have this kind of thing. But what I would say, Fred, if you are able to make at least a commitment, you can reserve the offer for yourself. What that means is that you make a commitment, at least 1,000, 2,000, whatever you have right now, but at least when you get to the 50% is when you start off the program. But even if you clear it next week or next month, you have secured the offer for you. So that is the most important thing. Uh, I would like to take the course, but because of the COVID-19, we are on a break. I will, I can make amount as deposit. I can pay any amount as deposit. Yes, you can make an amount, any amount as deposit. I'm waiting for you. That was Quentine Aliza. Uh, yes, Godana was saying yes. I think these were the questions. Is it okay to put the big figure you desire during an interview? How can it lower the chances of succeeding in your interview? Now, that was Rose. Yes, you can quote that big figure. But it's not just a matter of quoting the big figure. The idea is, can you be able to justify that figure? And how do you justify that figure? based on your experience, based on your value, what you bring on board. So as I, part of the coaching that we will talk about, we'll talk about how do you negotiate for the six-figure salary and how do you even quote it in an interview. So yes, 
if you quote it wrongly, if you quote it in a wrong way, it will lower your chances. Rose, hope you get that. Okay, I have negotiated before and I got an increase. Oh, so that was an anonymous attendee saying, I have negotiated before and I got an increase. Someone who negotiated for their salary. Great to hear that. Uh, okay, I'm grateful. This is Benjamin. I'm grateful for your editing my CV. I always get invitation. The only problem uh, is always about salary. Last time I attended one quarter to 150, I was told that to be that the range is between 200 and 350K. I told them it would be okay. Then they never got back to me. Uh, any reason I would aim it to far the far you have come. I was once a staff mate with you in Sierra. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate Benjamin saying, yeah, we did your CV and you've been getting invitation for interviews. That is great. You ended up uh, quoting about 150 a job when they told you it's about 200, and 200 to 350. I think it's a matter of how you negotiate and also how you follow up and find your value. I really appreciate that. We work with you in CIA. So Benjamin, just confirming that, yes, I once worked in CIA as a computer teacher and technician right there, Santi Sana. I think our time is really uh, going. It is almost nine. I want to close it up. Uh, Jude, I can see I, I have cash, but there is no MPESA to deposit. I want uh, the full certification with it, the full to expect. Okay, now, yes, we have done this before. So, Godana Hassan, uh, leave me uh, your number or your email just with the question and answer. I'm the only one who can get it. I'm giving you a list tomorrow, midday. If you're able to go, you have the cash, go deposit and start off tomorrow, midday. You will get all the four courses. I can assure you that. Godana Hassan, no, uh, Maureen, please note that as it makes the deposit at least tomorrow before midday. You get all the four courses, you get the branded I'm a badass pro skill uh, notebook. You will also get your t-shirt. Please let me know right now, Kodana, what is your t-shirt size? We will be sending it to you and where you are, yeah? That will also be helpful. Anonymous attendee, how much is CV writing and cover letter? Are you still working? You are still work, working or I should wait? Yes, we are still working. It's only that we are working from home. But that does not mean you can't visit our office at the moment. But once we resume, you can come to our office. But we will still serve you. All the services are continuing as normal. It's only that we are working from home. But I still go to the office once in a while. So if you want uh, to book an appointment, we can do that next week. So the anonymous attendee. Thank you very much. I think uh, basically I have uh, gone through most of these questions. Let me see if there's anything else remaining in the chat. Okay, let me see. Frederick, okay. Thank you, Fred. Uh, this is Frederick Chiriot Kurui, also a deposit of uh, 1,000 noted. Thank you very much. I have also, I have made a deposit. That is Frederick, got it. So at least, um, over the week, uh, we, you, we will reserve the offer for you, yeah? We will reserve that offer for you. You will get the courses. You will get the C3 coaching at only 19993 Thank you for reserving the offer. Uh, I'm interested, but I'm unable to pay. Uh, I will be able to pay part of the fee before Sunday. That is great. The offer runs up to Sunday. After Sunday, it will not be available. Right now, just go to careerbond.co.k forward slash badass. I assure you, on Monday, you go to that what, uh, that page, it will not be there, the offer will be out. So Joel, if you make it before Sunday, drop me an email, I'll be able to get in touch with you. Uh, Fred Lake is waiting for your response. Yeah, Fred Lake, I've just said we received the 1,000, thank you. We'll sign you up for the program, we reserve the offer. I've made a commitment of 1,000, but I am requesting for the four courses, certification, we're then making. Okay. Um, thank you, Quita, for the deposit. But if you want to get the four courses, I am giving you a very special offer. At least you should be able to make the 50% by Sunday 12. Because after that, once the program is running, we don't admit people in between. Yeah. So thank you for the commitment. You have reserved the offer for yourself. 
the home again, sand the midnight, make the 50%, we will be able to start off. And for your case, that was Gordana. There was also now Queen Tan. The four courses are there for you. So Gordana, they are saying thank you, I appreciate. Okay, I can see, I think the video has gone. Yeah, yeah. There's something that happened. Yeah, so that is it. I can see someone talking here. Let me try and see. Oh, can't start. Uh, can't start now. Okay, for the CV, we can be able to start now. Otherwise, thank you very much. I really appreciate you sticking here with me. This is a great opportunity. I really appreciate. I'll be able to send this um, broadcast, the recorded version, and I'm so happy. As we go, just say thank you. See you next time. Frederick saying thank you. Oh, this Joshua will also try uh, my possible best by tomorrow midday. Thank you, Joshua. We'll, yeah, you do it before midday tomorrow, Joshua. You also got the four courses, right? Then there's Victor saying, Charles, Asante Sana, I appreciate it. David saying, Asante Sana. Uh, Howard, uh, thank you. Uh, oh, great. I'm getting, thank you for the session. I appreciate it. It has been a great time having all of you. I think that is it. See you next time. Drop me an email. We'll be able to talk more.